Hello and welcome back to the channel. So we are doing another prep and pack with me, a very exciting one because we are getting ready, getting ready to head to Hawaii for a little family vacation. Um, we actually really ended up booking this trip very last minute, like less than a month ago, we decided we're gonna do Hawaii again. Um, so yeah. It's gonna be fun and if you didn't know we did do a hawaii trip last year so i will kind of link those videos um in the description i'll put together a little playlist and anyway if you were interested to see what we did last year um but anyway so there are a number of things we have to get ready this is probably the least prepared i've ever been for any trip um so that's an interesting feeling for sure but we're just gonna get ready. So what I'm gonna start with right now are like snacks and food because this time we're actually planning to stay at an Airbnb. So, and we will do like some like, you know, food shopping there or whatever. We're not gonna buy like a ton of things, but I didn't want to go empty handed. And also, okay, I'm gonna help you with your cake, baby. I didn't wanna go empty handed and you know just risk not having snacks and everything especially with a three-year-old so and i also wanted to bring some things that were familiar for her so that way you know she's as comfortable as she can be so we'll just do a super quick overview of the yes, things that i am bringing hi. yes baby <laughs> of the things that i am going to pack um some of the things will go in like our suitcase and then some of this will i'll throw in like the backpack or whatever bag I'm like bringing onto the plane so that way we are covered in all aspects so let's let's just let's go so I am going to pack in our check-in a couple of um extra bottles of water just in case um we are not yes that's my little girl down there <laughs> um packing some extra waters just in case for some reason we or without access to water or just need it right away so I didn't I don't want to be I didn't want to be left without water <laughs> um I am going to pack some juice boxes where I'm not bringing this whole thing but just a couple of these just to have just ready in case we need it um I am going to bring some of her banana milk because she loves this and she likes to have it in the morning so just to you know give some familiarity if we can and obviously if we run out of room in our suitcase the food is going to be the first thing to go so this is kind of going into it hoping that i have room for everything so anyway um the thing that i've already I'm going oh well we're going to bring water bottles so these are for me and my husband this is ailey's water bottle and then i'm also bringing just a regular kind of cup um to use at the airbnb um for like juice or water or whatever so bringing that hi baby cutie girl um this is going to be for like on the go airplane it's that little spinner thing that i have gone ahead and filled up with some snacks and yummy things um so i'll bring this um i have some z bars oops <laughs> i have some z bars because my daughter loves these got some chewy bars she also loves these we have this abc bar from trader joe she actually really likes that one i was very surprised about um we've got some bunnies some cheddar bunnies um i've got some beef jerky sticks these are for my husband because um, he's the only one that eats those um i've got some extra choco boy i'm not sure if i'm actually gonna bring this since i have some packed here but we'll see hi baby are you trying to come up here are you trying to come up here? <laughs> Hi. Hello. We're packing for the airplane, okay? Mm -hmm. This is not for now, just for later, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Come down. And then we make some cake, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You want a snack? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a snack in a second, okay? Mm -hmm. Go over there. Um, I've got some little probiotic yogi snacks. And also for me are these little like chia pouches that's coming. I've got some little chocolate dipped biscuits, like a Korean snack, got some of those. And then also I have these um, honey biscuits that are called yakwa. 
it's like a traditional Korean snack. Um, I like super love these, so bringing a few of those. And then I'm also bringing Mike and Ike's some of our favorite candies, just because you never know. Um, all of this, I'm going to pack into. I think I'll probably have to grab one more Mommy. piece. Yes, baby. Okay, I'm going to help you. Hold on one second. Um, I'm going to pack them in a couple of these just to avoid any crushing and just to ensure that we can easily pack and then I can always stick something else in here like later on when we get through this snacks and then yes, baby. Okay. All right. I gotta go. But anyway, um, this is, this is all going to get packed up and I'll show it when it's done. <laughs> Okay, the final put together. Um, I also ended up packing just like an emergency stash of like chocolates, lollipops, fruit snacks, um, just in case. And the Mike and Ike's, this is for me, I put the rest in here. Figured, cause this is like gonna go on our person and I'll pack these away and those will also come with us. But yes, those are the snacks. And then we already talked about the drinks and stuff. So, Whew, okay. On to the next. Okay, it's actually um, a couple hours later. I have kind of done my hair, which is why it just kind of looks like that. But okay, we've moved on to like toiletries, I guess is the general term, if you want to call it. Um, so we're just gonna start. So I have like a mixture of like full size items I'm bringing and some like travel size, just cause either I already had it set aside like a travel size, like I've transferred into like a travel size container or um, what's the word? I already had a travel size item of the same product that I use or I'm just bringing the whole thing cause I feel like I'm gonna need it. So <laughs> the um, most obvious we're gonna go with is sunscreen. So I always like to bring a spray and an actual like um, like rub on sunscreen, and this is this is my favorite sunscreen specifically for my daughter, and I use it too. So, we got those two items. We have an after sun gel. Um, we are anticipating more than a couple of beach days, so I feel like we're gonna need that. But either way, sun, all those things. Um, I was originally going to bring our full size toothpaste, but I think I'm gonna transfer these now because I want to, unless, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I wanna transfer them because I will transfer them into, and if you've never seen these, my little cadence capsules, um, because I think I'm gonna put it in our carry-on so we can like brush our teeth when we land. So these are gonna go in here. So that's what's happening there. Um, I am bringing some shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. The Airbnb will have these items, but just in case, in case I don't like it or whatever, I I would prefer to bring my own. So just just in case, and I don't mind bringing like a just in case. Um, I've got some lotion, body lotion. I've got a little spray deodorant. I've got. Shampoo body wash for my daughter. This is my hairspray for these like bang little guys. Got some dry shampoo. Got a little travel taping stick. Um, I've got my, what do you call this? Hair roller for my bangs. Um, this is one of the face moisturizers I'm currently using. This is a serum spray. So I've shown this before too, but anyway. Um, this is a toner. It's actually my Medicube triple collagen toner that I just transferred into that little guy. Um, I am bringing my regular Beauty of Cholson sunscreen and I'm also going to bring the stick version. Yeah, like this, I can put in my carry on anyway, so I'll have to kind of divide the toiletries that are gonna go into the carry-on and then what's gonna go into the check-in, but I'll figure that out as I'm sorting through this. I am bringing my hair styling serum. I have my daughter's vitamin D drops. And then I've got a bunch of travel things in here. So I've got 
like my vitamins. I've got my leave-in conditioner, um, face cleanser, makeup remover, and then this nameless one is my daughter's hair conditioner. Um, I have a little travel razor. I have a little travel lint roller, a Tide to go pen, a mini hairbrush that I share with my daughter, our little toothbrush head covers, and a fabric um, wrinkle releaser spray. So that is mostly everything. I think the only thing I am missing is lotion for my daughter and I'm going to bring like a full size one. It's actually from Pipettes, that same one. Um, the full size one and I think it's downstairs actually so I'm gonna have to go grab that. Um, because my daughter's skin does get very dry. Um, but we will be, since we will be in Hawaii, it's not as big a deal because it's more humid there for sure, but still I don't want her to feel like super itchy and irritated all the time. So I'm going to bring the full size bottle of her lotion. I have to sort through my makeup to decide what I'm bringing because I definitely don't need all of this for sure. Um, oh yeah. So I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to go grab that lotion and I'm going to kind of get everything sorted and separated and go through my makeup and I will see you guys in just a sec. Okay, so I've put together a little bit of a wacky system. <laughs> so basically I have the four items that are like full size, not travel friendly. Um, I think there might be one or two, but anyway, um, I'm gonna put in this like big pouch here. And the only reason why, and then I separated like these, like my razor and like cleaning, like laundry type things. Um, and here, the only reason why I'm doing that to keep it separate is because originally, while I was putting this together, I was like, oh, why don't I throw our swimsuits in here um, just so I can have like one thing to just grab out of the suitcase. But then I realized this is going to go in the check-in and I want to have our swimsuits like ready in our carry-on just, just in case, you know. What I am going to do instead is I'm just going to like, when I pack everything up, I'm going to designate certain like packing cubes or like pouches so I know exactly which things to grab. Like, oh, I know it would be more efficient <laughs> if I put everything into like one suitcase and just like grab like one thing out, but it just kind of doesn't make sense, unfortunately. <laughs> so it is what it is. We're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. It'll be okay. Um, what I might do, I guess alternatively, what I could do is I could split up our swimsuits and put like one set in our carry-on and one set in here. So that way, if nothing goes wrong, I can just plan to grab this pouch. And then that way I'm ready for either scenario. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. All right, anyway, so that's that. Um, and then this is kind of like the hair lotion, body wash like shampoo type stuff that's all in here and then this little toiletry bag is like the travel size travel size stuff and then plus like hairbrush and like whatever anything i feel like will need coming off the plane if that makes sense <laughs> so anyway um my method of packing is probably not to be most efficient but it'll work and we're gonna figure it out and it'll be fine. But anyway, um, now that I've kind of gotten the toiletries under control, we will now move on to the clothes, I guess. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I'm not even gonna talk about how far behind we are in packing and like how much of a mess is everywhere, but just know that that's what's going on. So I'm just gonna, bring everything out and hopefully everything works so woohoo okay so i'm just gonna do like a quick little rundown of what i just threw on the bed um these are just my clothes and my daughter's clothes because i have to um and like my husband pulled out his clothes already but He's missing some things and I need him to be here and he's not here for that right now. 
Anyway, let's just quickly run through my daughter's clothes. So I picked out a bunch of dresses for her. This might be overkill on the number of dresses, but it's fine. <laughs> um, so we've got this little dress, and I think this is gonna be like for the luau we're attending, is it'll kind of match the ski color scheme of um, everything that like we're all gonna wear. Um, I have this little paisley dress. I figured it'd be good. My mom's friends actually got her that dress and then this little um, dress, and I figured these would be good for Hawaii-esque vibes. <laughs> um, I'm packing her little Moana nightgown. Um, should she want to wear it as clothes? <laughs> um, two of her favorite dresses, and just like really good because they are like tank tops, so you know, good for warm weather. And then this little pinkish dress. Um, I have a bunch of like biker shorts to go underneath. I might grab one or two more unless they're somewhere else i've got things like everywhere and i'm just i'm a little bit of a mess but we'll out. yeah i might grab some more shorts um just so we have enough because most likely we'll not be doing any laundry while we're there um because the airbnb that i'm staying at does not have a laundry in the unit but it has like a laundry room um but you did to pay for it so that's what i'm thinking we probably won't do laundry We'll see. Anyway, <laughs> um, this is a little pool cover up. This is actually, I think this is a 2T because it's literally just meant to go over a swimsuit. Um, I've got these two swimsuit sets. I have an extra rash guard because there's the bottoms that go with these. I like mix and match with this other one. So that's coming. Socks and underwear, pajamas. <sighs> Got like all of her undies, pajamas, three pajamas might be overkill, but I don't know. I just like, so we like, we wear pajamas like every two days. Um, I don't know, so we'll see. But either way, so what I'm doing as I'm just like kind of taking everything off the hangers, um, what I will do is most of the clothes will just go in the check bag, um, but I will pull out maybe one or two outfits, probably just one, um, into the carry-on just so that we have it, you know, should we need it, like easy access. <laughs> so those are my daughter's things. I just feel like I'm missing stuff and I just, I can't like focus. Oh, what I will bring is like, I'll bring like a sweater um, just in case, but I'll probably stick that either in like a backpack or the carry-on. We'll see, but anyway. Okay, so for me, <laughs> I got this brown dress from Love Bonito. This is actually the dress I'm probably gonna wear to the luau, so that's what I was saying, like the color scheme's gonna kind of work. So we got this dress for me, and I originally I was gonna think about doing like a try-on, but there's just not enough time, and I just, I can't right now. <laughs> um, I'm just bringing a black T-shirt. I have this kind of like sports tank um, and then that's gonna go with this like like sweater thingy, but it's like not a sweater, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I am bringing this set. If you know anything about me, you know I love this little gauze set from Target. Um, so I'm bringing that whole set. I am bringing this, um, like wife beater tank top from Uniqlo with a built-in bra and I freaking love it so that's coming it's like so good for warm weather um just like paper bag shorts whatever you want to call it <sighs> a little over shirt the striped one from Old Navy was like perfect I was looking for one and I just saw it and I was like done um and then I got this nice little shirt dress from Amazon and I'm pretty excited about this one because I think it'll be super nice for like the weather and just like the look and whatever. So, um, got some like water, no, like athletic shorts, I guess. Um, the matching shorts for the gauze set, um, just a pair of like white sweat shorts. Um, I'm going to bring these bike bike shorts and I just need to grab an oversized tee. And I decided to bring this 
tea that I got from Alani last year because why not? It's just going to be something that like I throw on just for the heck of it. Oh. Um, and then the only thing I need to grab are, um, these are just like my nightgowns, um, an extra swimsuit, and I just need to grab like my socks and undergarments. And those are going to be it. That's going to be it for my clothes and my daughter's clothes. So we should be good there. Now I'm going to try to make some sort of organizational something. And anyway, wish me luck. Okay, so we have come to the floor to sort of sort all of this out. Um, I have a <laughs> sneaking suspicion that I am overpacking like crazy, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, so first off, let's just let's just see what we got here. Um. So I've got a bunch of like extra accessories um, that I'm gonna put in this little bag because this is most likely gonna be like our beach bag just because there are holes in like sand and stuff, you know? Um, so I'm throwing in like our cooling towels. I just threw in a stroller universal shade. Um, I'm going to throw in our little um, like waterproof cases and then like these are like foam koozies to like protect it from like overheating in the sun. Um, so I'm gonna put all this in here. I'm going to bring just like an extra muslin blanket just for anything. So I'm just gonna throw that in here also. Um, originally I was planning on maybe packing like some sort of like beach blanket but I think I'm not going to do that and if anything maybe we'll just pick up like some like cheap towels or like a beach blanket there just to use there and then like leave it there because I really, I don't think we're gonna have enough space for all this stuff. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, so that's going on. I've got our fans, a hand fan and a stroller fan. They're technically they're both stroller fans. Um, this is not gonna go in this. I have my daughter's swim vest, which I think I'm going to stick into her car seat because we gate check and also like whatever check in her car seat. So that's probably gonna go with that. Um, it's like you can put like light, but like bulky items in that. So that way it can kind of like, you know, whatever, whatever you need to do. <laughs> Um, I've got our hats. I've got two hats for me, one for my daughter. She's not big on hats, but sometimes she does want to wear it. So I'm going to bring it. Got water shoes for me. I don't even know if I'm actually gonna need these, but I'm gonna bring them just in case because God forbid like we get there and we need them and we have to buy them. So I'm gonna get this. Um, I'll just stick these in here for now. <sighs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I tell you. I've got like extra cords, um, an extra phone case, um, like a charging station, and my like travel slippers in here. But I think I'm also gonna put the fans in here just to kind of keep this all kind of in one area. And then I'm bringing this little umbrella that I kind of always just take with me for sun or rain. So that kind of works. So this is good. This is all zipped up. This is good to go. Um, got like an extra purse here. I've got my curling iron, um, my daughter's extra shoes. These are my extra shoes. So I think we're pretty good in terms of like gathering everything. It's just a matter of trying to get it all to go into those suitcases. So that's the next step. <laughs> Before I kind of put everything away, I thought I would quickly show, um, I've shown it many times before, but this is our travel stroller. It's the Kaluga one. Um, we love it. It's so easy to travel with, lightweight, 
excellent. Um, I do have some like accessories on here. Like I use these like open hooks. I have a little stroller caddy. I have this like mesh bag um, just to give it some more storage should we need it. So anyway, yeah, I just wanted to show that really quick before I fold this guy up. So this is ready to go. And then this is our travel car seat. Um, it's already in the bag. Um, I just wanted to kind of show because I'm putting things away. So like, this is the rain cover that attaches. This is um, for the stroller, sorry. And this is like a little like cover for the car seat to kind of help keep it cool. And I thought that would be interesting, see if it actually works. And also it's small enough where it's not really a problem. Um, this is the cup holder that attaches to the car seat. I'm gonna stick that in there. So this bag, plus the water wings are gonna go inside of here. Um, and then this is gonna close up like this. And then I do kind of just give it a little, little loop there. And then I tuck the rest of the string inside. So that way it is mostly <laughs> secure. So, and then we just drop it off like this. So this is all set to go. So that's good. Okay, so now we are packing up the rest of the stuff. So this, if you don't know what this is, this is my toddler's nap blanket. Um, I'll stick a picture of it, but it is compressed in like one of these like camping thingies. So this goes in this little, um, like foldable bag with our inflatable footrest for an airplane. Um, so this is gonna go in here. What else I'm gonna throw in here? TBD, but right now that's going in here. Um, my backpack will kind of have like Ailey's things. So what I will put in is, um, my laptop will go back here. And it's like kind of like dusty in here. I gotta clean that out. But um, I have our toddler sling, and I've talked about this before, but again, I'll just like pop a picture if you're curious, because um, that's going to be very helpful. Um, I've got my toddler's little activity pouch. It's just like stickers, little poppet things, some toys, Play Doh, and like her two favorite sticker sheets, brand new ones. Um, so that'll be good. She won't need any entertainment for the flight going there because it'll be basically nighttime and she'll be sleeping but um always good to have entertainment i'm bringing two of her books um for like the potty and then also just to have two books um we will bring the ipad for sure um this is like her little like potty seat set um we actually don't need this as much anymore because i can kind of like i'm a little bit more comfortable now just like sticking her on the toilet with like the cover on it because she doesn't touch anything and really the only times we really need that are like if she has to go number two so um this craziness is actually um like the everyday essential that I just bring around um because it's just like things we just need in the everyday um so that's you know packed up somehow if it doesn't burst <laughs> um and hold on, stick this guy in there um so this will get packed up yeah it should be fine <laughs> um but if you're ever curious i can for sure like go over the details of what's in here but that's just gonna um i almost forgot i have to pack um our little first aid kit but that's just upstairs i can throw that into the suitcase um because that's always like ready to go I have my external battery here. So this is gonna come. Um, oh, my daughter's sunglasses. I think I thought I was going to put this in the suitcase, but I guess I'm putting it in here now. Got some extra Ziploc baggies. And then I got like all of our like food over here. So I'm trying to like figure out what makes sense because I am definitely all over the place. So let me see if I can <laughs> kind of work this out. Okay, so we leave in about 20 minutes. I more or less got everything packed. Um, I just, or I just need to put in a pair of shoes there. I eliminated a ton. Like, 
I think you'll, um, I'm gonna do like an unpack with me when we get back so you guys can see like what I ended up like mixing and kind of how that all worked out. But anyway, so we gotta do the final weight test. So I got my little luggage scale here. We're only checking one bag, so that's good. I think I should throw this in, just so we have it. Um, yeah, we got carry-on down there, check-in. We got the Percy bag, stroller, backpacks, and I think we are good to go. So, anyway, we're going to close off this prep and pack with me, because we have to get ready to go, but the next vlog will be our travel day and first day. <laughs> that's my girl, so I'll see you in the next one. Just loving